Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Mari Suggs and I am a self-published author of three books. My fourth book is out with a literary agent as we speak and I am writing my fifth book which I am documenting my entire process on Instagram which leads me to today's video. I um, Last week or the week before I recorded a video on my process outlining with uh, say the cat. However, not only did I outline on the computer, but I also mentioned that I did it using index cards. And I asked if you guys wanted to see that video on here on YouTube and on Instagram. And I got a lot of responses saying that you wanted to see it. So I thought I better get on that and record it. And that's what I did today. So in a minute, we're going to hop onto my computer and you guys are going to see how I outlined and um yeah the entire process which i totally totally love this process i cannot recommend it enough so if you have never done it with if you have never outlined using index cards then stay tuned for this video i hope it helps you so yeah let's get right to it okay guys so we're going to start off with act one and what i want to uh, point out first is that every time you see a yellow card that represents a single scene beat and anytime you see a green card, it means um, we're heading into multi-scene beats. The reason under a yellow card, I will have two cards is because my story is told from two perspectives and therefore I will have two cards um, for her perspective and his perspective, meaning I will have an opening image for her and an opening image for him. And I will have a theme stated for him and a theme stated for her. So under the setup, the green cards, you will see multi, um, beat scenes, which means that I will have three cards at a time, which represents each scene. However, because I did want to save a little bit of room here, some of my three cards might have more than just one scene on them. Um, so here we are in the catalyst again, and then we have two um, cards there again because of my two perspectives. And then we have um, the debate, which will require, again, it's a multi-beat scene. So there's three cards in each row here. And then we head into the break into two, which I will also have two cards. So yeah, guys, this is how act one is basically laid out. As long as you follow this um, method, you'll be right on. So now we head into act two. And it's basically the same thing again. B story, that means usually a new character um, gets to get introduced to your story. And that's why I have, again, two cards for each of my characters. And now this is the bulk of the story, the fun and games. There are three cards for each um section here and let me see there are one two three four five six so here we have six um rows of cards each with three cards in it what I find so fascinating about outlining with using index cards is if you just focus on the big picture first meaning all the yellow cards like the opening image the theme state of the catalyst the debate and you know right now like the b story if you focus on those things first then your story starts forming itself and you can then just go back and start inserting all the big things in the story like all the things that you're seeing here in the fun and games so the good news here is that act two is the largest act to get through so if you've made it this far yay congratulations you're doing great so now we're heading into act two b and the difficult part here is that this is also a multi-scene beat so the all the bad guys close in is going to have four rows of three cards each and by the time you get to this part of your story, I believe that you kind of have to know where your story is going. Um, you can't just wing it. And I'm not saying that you need to know every single detail of what's going to happen, but you definitely need to get to, you know, 
have a little more understanding of your story in order to fill these cards in. So of course, now I'm at the all is lost moment and that's when I am also going to put again two cards for each of my characters. The Dark Knight of the Soul beat is a multi-scene beat, so it also requires two rows of three cards each. And then we're headed into Break Into Three, which is fabulous because now you're almost to the end. I did want to say one thing. Um, if you didn't see my video last week, uh, make sure you swing by uh, because I do go a little more in depth regarding the um, each beat and what I put in it. So if you haven't seen that video, I will link it below for you guys to go check it out. So here we go. We're heading into Act 3. But the only problem with Act 3 is that each beat is a multi-scene beat. So there is a lot of writing. And just like with the previous one, you got to have a really good idea of what it is that you are wanting to say with your story because it's going to be kind of, be kind of hard if you don't have at least some idea to fill all these spaces up because each card each beat requires a multi scene right so it, if you don't have any idea then it's going to be kind of hard to just fill these things up but again like i said all you have to do is really just come up with like just a sentence or a word that triggers like, oh, you know, like for me, it would be a party and maybe, um, I don't know. I don't want to give away too much of my story because I'm writing it right now, but, uh, especially this is like the finale. So I don't want to give too much away, but if you have some idea of how you want your story to end, um, inserted here, just know that it is a multi-scene beat that, you know, it is going to require, uh, some work on your part to get it finished. But, this is pretty much it, you guys. Yeah, by the time we get to this section, all we have are two more beats and then the final image. And what I wanted to say about the final image, a little tip that the book says, is that it should be a mirror image of the opening image, only it should be almost like the opposite, right? A mirror image, but at the same time, opposite. And I've managed to do that with my story and I wish I'd known this with other stories that I've written before because it really does tie everything up so, so nicely. So this is the way I would have normally done it if I would have been able to, to record it all and fit it all on the table while I was uh, showing you guys, but um, it just was not working out. So I had to do it in pieces, but normally I would do this on the big dining room table or on the floor. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you found it helpful and that you use this method going forward because I'm telling you, it is everything. I, I will never do it any other way than this. Well, at least that's what I feel right now. If I learn something new, I will definitely keep you guys posted. But anyways, if you did find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below with any questions that you may have on the process and make sure that you share it with all your writerly friends. And until next time, stay safe.